Hi, I'm Jenna. In Chief Architect X10, we added new features to our schedules and material lists. In this video segment, I'll show you some of these features, including the new Find in Plan tool. Let's take a look. From the material list, there is a new Find Object in Plan tool. When an item is selected in the materials list, the Find Object tool will return you to Plan View and highlight that specific item. Multiple objects will be highlighted in the case where there is more than one. In Schedules, there is also a Find Object tool that works similarly to the Materials list. Select a specific row in the schedule and use the Find Object tool to locate that object in the plan. Objects can be directly opened with the schedule. Like the new Find option, the Open Row Object tool will open the specification dialog allowing you to directly edit that object for added accessibility in making modifications. In the Materials list, you can create custom formulas for calculations. When you click inside a field, you will see the option to create or modify the formula. For example, to create a formula for 10% extra material, I'll enter equals count times 0.1. Formulas use Ruby scripting if you want to go beyond the basics. To reset a formula, use the Revert to Default option. Most objects in Chief Architect have attributes we call name value pairs. These might include the width or height of a cabinet. One way you can access these attributes is by inserting a macro with the name value pair, like this custom cabinet label. To see all the attributes available for a given object, you can assign a macro, Object Properties. We added normal size for framing members, and for cabinets, we added several new name value pairs. There are several great new features added to Chief Architect X10 that you can expect to see in early 2018. And remember, all new software purchases include free upgrades for the first year. So if you're not currently a customer, get started today with Chief Architect.